Welcome back. In this video, we're looking at how to add money together. The last video we had was about counting money and counting the values of money. This video, we're not focusing on that. So when the questions you see, the counting has already been done for you. It's a good review to deposit and double check. Was that math correct or how did I get those numbers? To start adding, we want to again, start with the biggest amounts, add them together, as well as breaking it up by dollars and cents. So I'm going to start with the dollars. I'm going to look at what my biggest amounts are in both areas. Well, I have a 20 over here. I have a five. I have a two, another two, and a one. Let's add this up. 20 plus five, 25 plus two, 27 plus two, 29 plus one gives me $30. Now I'm going to look at the cents, okay? I forgot to dot off my one, there we go. The biggest cents I have here is 25. So 25 cents plus some tens. 10 cent, 10 cent, whoops, and 10 cent. Great. Let's count it up. 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 10 is 45, plus 10 is 55 cents. Once again, remember when we see this here, we need to think about a decimal. So this is going to become 0 decimal 55. Now we're going to add up our totals. We have $30 plus 55 cents gives me $30.55. Let's double check our work because I know a lot of us like to stack our amounts. So let's do that up here. I'm going back to my original amounts. So I'm gonna put 24, 25 plus $6.30. The most important part about stacking with decimals and money is to line up the decimal place. That is the crucial step for adding and subtracting decimals. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. I drop the 0, put the 1 at top. 2 plus 1 is 3. My answer is not finished until I have remembered to put the decimal place and the dollar symbol in. Then I have completed my question. So yes, the total for this amount is $30.55. Okay, our second example for adding money. Again, I've already counted up the totals for you. Okay, you can go right to stacking right here if you'd like, but I still like to break it up by dollars and cents to make sure that when I do stack it, I'm correct. So let's break it up. Biggest numbers first, $10 plus $1 and another $1. That's it for my dollars this time. So 10 plus one is 11 plus one is $12. Now we'll go to our cents, looking for our biggest ones first. I have 25 cents. I have another 25 cents. Another one. And one more. Then I have a 10 cent and a 5 cent. Okay, it's a lot this time. Once again, though, I can see I have lost 25s, so I'm going to group them. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, four 25s. I know right away, four quarters gives me one dollar. 
I'm gonna get rid of them. There we go, they're gone. So now I'm just going to add these guys over here. 10 plus five gives me 15 cents, but I know that's gonna turn into a decimal, zero decimal, one, five. Great. Let's add them together. So I have my 12 from up here, $12 plus my $1 that I found in all the change and my 15 cents. So 12 plus one, 13. $13 and 15 cents. Let's double check. I know you like to stack it. Go up to our beginning again. $10.30 plus $2.85. Notice that I have lined up my decimals. That is important. So zero plus five is five. Three plus eight is 11. One goes down there, carry the other one. Two plus zero is two, plus the one gives me a three, and then one plus nothing is one. I am not finished though, I forgot two things. What are those two things? The first you may have noticed, I forgot the decimal place. The next thing I need to finish my answer is the unit. Now, I have double checked my work because $13.15 matches what I got down here. That's it for adding. Tune into the next video to learn about making change. Thanks for watching.